Dito tayo ngayon sa tuktok ng stockroom Kaya lakaran natin ang mga mga talas Ito tatawag nila ang old town tour na it's a 3 hours tour to explore this big city Stockholm known as the Venice of the Europe and this is the capital of the Stockholm okay ito yung parang yung sa Copenhagen and then Mark meron sila ang Tivoli ito meron din sila dito mga park ayan ah galing Sobrang yan. Ayan, hintayin natin. Sige. 
We are going to get closer now to the older quarters of Stockholm. And for you to understand how Stockholm is built, we need to go very much back in time to the Ice Age. The Scandinavian peninsula had, during the Ice Age, a very thick layer of ice on top of it. After the Ice Age, all the ice melted and actually all the pressure that the ice made on the ground is making that nowadays Stockholm is even raising up every year half a centimeter. And welcome to the old part of Stockholm. On your left hand side you have a beautiful building in pinkish color as well with a flag on top. This building is the Opera House, second building standing because the first one was actually burning. Inside that building, in the 18th century, King Gustav III was shot and he almost died. But he didn't die in the, pala in the, in the opera house, he died in the palace a week after. And the palace is the building on your right hand side. That's on your right hand palace. side, you have the northern face of the palace. 608 rooms, the oldest palace in uh, the world, is still in use by the monarchy. That building that you see there is from 1754, and it's the official residency of Carl VI Gustav Bernadotte, our king. However, he is not using that palace as his house. He's using this palace to meet different head of states that come from all the countries. Inside the palace we have the state rooms and those rooms are used for those meetings. The dynasty Bernadotte came here to Sweden in the 19th century and our king is the seventh of that dynasty. And you need to remember this place. You see these buses standing here by the water having on your left hand side the Royal Opera House. Well, you need to remember this point because from here leave the shuttle buses later on to your cruise. You can get a shuttle bus from this point to your cruise line later on if you decide to stay in the city. The last shuttle bus is at half past three, 3.30. I recommend you to take On the right hand side you have this beautiful deck with these steam boats, actually original boats from the beginning of the 20th Gustav. century. Nowadays these boats are not uh, driven by steam, they are driven by motor. And the bigger boats of this deck takes you to the Stockholm Archipelago. It will take around three hours to go to the Stockholm Archipelago. And from this location are also leaving the taxi boats that will take you around Stockholm. On your left hand side you have the Ericsson Park. Also part of it is called the Versili Park or the Versalius Park. Versalius was actually the father of the modern chemistry. And Ericsson, who remembers that name, ringing any bells? Well, Ericsson is a telecommunications company of Sweden. Ericsson is uh, one of the main industries of Sweden, exporting actually telecommunication services and devices. By 1901, Stockholm had more telephone lines than London. And welcome to Strandvägen in the district of Esterman, ladies and gentlemen. Strandvägen means the avenue of the shore. And it was finished by 1897 with the looks that has nowadays. Before that time, this was a shipyard and uh, boats were getting built here. The area was very poor, very dumpy, very uh, dirty, having uh, a lot of houses uh, made out of wood all over where the workers were living. Before 1887, Stockholm got the responsibility of hosting the International Exposition of Architecture. For that reason, the area was remodeled, cleaned up, looking as beautiful as it does today. Strandvägen is uh, an avenue 
that gathers the most visitors of all over stop your bicycle or even jog or just to come to this beautiful boat that offers you a drink by the water. For those who will stay in the city later on, remember, bicycle roads have their own roads and uh, they have on the pavement a bicycle painted. That means that you need to be very careful and always use the zebra crossings, otherwise the bicycle will run over you. <coughs> on the right hand side, you see a building far inside the island with mastels of a boat coming out from it. That you see that looks like a big castle is actually the Nordic Museum. So we continue on this district, Esterman, one of the most exclusive districts of Stockholm and also one of the most expensive. And we are heading towards the diplomatic area called uh, Diplomat Town, the Diplomat Quarters. to find here is the Nordic Museum. The Nordic Museum is on your right hand side and if you visit you can see exhibits of the Swedish culture of way of living from the Middle Ages up to nowadays. By 1907 the building was finished and thanks to Arthur Hazelius we have this museum. He thought that industrialization was taking over the city and Swedish people were losing their identity. So this museum was created. Other interesting museums are also on this area of Djurgården. You're going to see a peculiar one. The Abba Museum opened in June. And Abba became popular in, in Europe in 1974 by the song Waterloo in the Euro festival, the Euroslavish festival, the Eurovision Song Contest. So, we'll see, we'll see what we are going to see now. What do you see, ladies and gentlemen? Your ship, that's correct. You see your Royal Caribbean ship there. From the island of your Gordon to the island of Sutherland. If you look up up to 10 past 11 or 15 past 11, depending how the queues are to enter, I will give you a small guided tour inside the museum and then you will have enough free time. During the time that we're going to be inside the, inside the museum, you will need to bring with you whatever you will need. The bus will stay parked around the area and locked. You can live here a bag that has nothing important inside of it. You give your passport, you 